we've heard the statement that you know the young people are the leaders of tomorrow. In our community, our young people, in our reality, are the prisoners of tomorrow. The law is what is doing the most harm to young people, the law that says they are criminals. Criminals are people who affect the good order of society. It is the law itself that is at most risk of affecting the good order of society because it's held in disregard and it is harming people. It doesn't make economic sense to criminalise hundreds of thousands of people at vast cost to achieve nothing other than some kind of sense of moral superiority. The amount of money that is wasted, I think it's scandalous. A lot of the drug laws were dictated by the United States. We have increased the amount of money for handling the problem of dangerous drugs sevenfold. Since Richard Nixon started the war on drugs, they've spent a trillion dollars and have been going backwards the whole time. These laws are not based on evidence. They're not based on science. They're based on power and they're based on ignorance. You know, I can see no other basis for them. One out of every 100 Americans is now behind bars, locked up in prison or in jail. Think of it as an international projection of a domestic psychosis. We are determined to build a drug-free America and to join with others to combat drugs around the world. Let there be no doubt. This is ultimately a struggle for human freedom. Huge numbers of people are actually incarcerated as a result of adopting this criminal justice approach to dealing with the drugs issue.